got a special treat for you on this tutorial today and uh, the reason why it's special is because it's actually going to be on a live uh, book that I'm currently working on. So uh, I'm typesetting a book for a company with all of their best practices and uh, what you have here is the final version, but now they're asking for a few more pages to be added to it. And so you can see uh, over here on your navigation panel, uh, you can see right now it covers about 34 pages. You can click on each page and go from you know side to side to see what it all looks like. You can see it's 8.5 by 11, uh, it's full color, and each page has two columns. It also has uh, one pay or one inch margins on the left hand side and then half inch margins uh, on the uh, above and beneath um, margins um, so this is what it looks like right now and they just sent me over this in a word document which is some more content they want added at the end so we are going to add those and so you're going to see what exactly step by step how to add and format content uh, as it comes in. So uh, right now we're on section 18, so the next one's going to be 19. And the last page is 34, and so the next page is going to be 35. So there's a couple ways you can add pages. Uh, I already have the format all set, and so I'm just going to pick out a master up here that has the margins and to click to see what the margins are click up in uh, view and click guides and you can see now you have all your margins set uh, I have two masters set up this one has what I'm looking for it has inch margins on the left and right hand sides and above and beneath it has those half inch margins so I'm gonna grab that and just click and drag it down below and now you can see I have this empty slot uh, it already has all this info for me right here and so I don't even have to worry about uh, doing any additional formatting you can see in other tutorials how we can format that from scratch uh, and then um, from this point we can just start adding content so we'll go to our source page and we can see the title of this is going to be this mechanical integrity testing just go and copy that over come back to Quark and click on text hit paste and we're gonna have to shrink it up so to shrink it we hit uh, command A or um, command A or, uh, or Apple A and then you can just come down here to where it says 24 and try 18 and 18 looks like it works and for typesetting purposes and try to even it out we'll click enter there and let's see we'll hit enter right there now that looks a lot better and also let's not forget to change these sections so this is going to be section 19 and then the page down here is going to be page 35 Okay, so that's perfect. And now we want to go grab that other content. So just click on Word and then come down all the way to the beginning of that form. Uh, I've actually I've converted that form into a JPEG, so we're going to treat that like an image because I don't want to spend a few hours having to go and re-typeset uh, that when they already did that work for us. Uh, okay, so come here click on text and this text box is already in place and as the columns so I'm just gonna hit command V and as you can see it's added all that text and but what you can also see is it has gone down and uh, we have multiple pages here so this isn't gonna work we're gonna have to add more pages so in order to do that uh, you can see what additional pages essentially look identical um, except for they don't have that header so going to grab this page master again up here and come down and as you can see everything here is pretty much identical except the top so you're going to select sorry if I did that too fast just come up here and the item tool click that select everything up top hit delete and now we can click on this text box and we'll extend it all the way up and we'll also click on our column guide extend it up as well and now to get this content into this box 
all we're going to have to do is click on this text tool, hold on it, and then click on that little chain. And what that's going to do is let us connect it. So the very first thing you're going to do is click on this text box, and then you're going to click Shift, come over and hover over your second text box, click on that, and as you can see, it's now connected that content. And as you can also see, we have even more content than we thought, so we're going to have to go add more. But before we do that, what I'd like to do is actually uh, format this text the way we want it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but if you come over here, and we'll click text, uh, you can see we have, um, uh, and actually, it's good that we caught that, because it looks like the last time I did this, I did not change this to times New Roman, which is what they want the uh, all the content with. Okay, there we go. I'm very glad I caught that. That would have been bad. So come down, move that. That picture is already good. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't look like it broke anything over here. But now we have to do the same thing on this side. So select all by hitting Command A and then come down to the font box at the bottom and click Times New Roman and it auto fills it for you. Hit enter and now you have all your text. The other interesting thing you can see with Times New Roman it's a little bit smaller font than Helvetica and so you uh, instead of it going to another a third page for this section it actually shrunk it down for us. So that's a nice little uh, a nice little thing. Make sure you try to put in your final text or your final font uh, so that you don't have to go adjust things later on. Uh, the other thing we want to do is bring in this little, uh, it's not going to be a T I'm assuming, but uh, this little object here and actually it is going to be a T. They start off with T again so uh, just click and drag that um, just in case you want to see how I did it. Uh, you just click on the object hit Command C, that copies it, and then come down here, hit Command V, and it duplicates it, and then you can just click and drag it wherever you want. So, uh, like I said, they kept the T again, so all we have to do to create this little formatting element is come and fix that, and now we're good to go. And if you want to see what that looks like, you can zoom in, and you can see that now you have a nice little kind of headlining, headlining um, format text right there and you can adjust that if you want to bring it up a little bit to line it up better and there you go and this text element gets treated exactly like uh, it's an image or anything like that if I wanted to spread that out give it some more space I can hit command T to bring up the modify box and as you can see right now it's very tightly knit to everything. If I want to give it more I can give it 10 points for the run around and as you can see it spreads that out quite a bit. I'm going to hit command Z undo it because I like it right where it's at. And then hit command 0 to back it up and now you can see everything all over again. Um, so we have our pages and let's fix this page number before we forget. 36 and we are all good to go. Uh, this also uh, came in very handy because now uh, we can create a page from scratch uh, for those other image pages. So the, if you noticed on the last on the source file uh, you have all your content and then you have this chart form and then you have this chart form and these need to be included and but it would take a little while to do these from scratch. If the client gives those to you, there's really no reason why you should do that. So we're going to come back here. Uh, I already turned those into JPEGs by just uh, exporting them that way from Word. And now I'm going to just drag us over a few more boxes here, or a few more pages. Uh, pages that will be 37 and 38. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing here, and we're in this case, we're going to get rid of everything except the footer, because we just want big text boxes, or big image boxes here. So to do that, we're going to create one right here, 
click on the move tool and move it wherever we want. Uh, depending on the size, I'm pretty sure they went with half inch margins, so we may need to do something on these pages like extend those to half inches and we'll use the guides. To do grab the guides, just make sure you just click and drag on the rulers and then you'll see the guides up here. And so we can stretch this box so it's bigger and can fit a larger image. Now to uh, add an image, make sure you are not on the move tool, it won't let you do it. Click on the image box, uh, the picture content tool again, and then hit Command E. And you could also go to File and Import. Um, but we'll hit Command E, and on the desktop here we have these two. We have our two forms. Um, I believe this first one's one we want first, and there we go. So you can see this is exactly what they sent us, and we want to include all of that. And let's see. It looks like they have a little bit. Uh, they didn't uh, incorporate the um, a footer or anything like that, so we're gonna have to play around with it and actually I think the best thing to do uh, would actually be to get rid of the footer here and then extend it and that should put us in a little bit better shape so let's see where we're at as you can see when you're moving this around it'll actually show you everything in the document if as soon as you click on the move tool everything on the sides goes away so We'll click on that, and what I think we're going to do is actually just shrink it just a little bit. So let's see what it looks like at 95%, if that fits everything. And it looks like it does. Actually created some new boxes there. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Yeah, that's perfect. So sometimes just a little... Uh, just a little bit of size manipulation is all you need for things like this. Uh, to see what it looks like now um, without all the guides and the lines, just go up to view and click on guides and you can see that looks a lot better. Um, you can also zoom in and see what that looks like. Let's see, is that getting cut off a little bit? No, it looks like they cut it off. So. Uh, if they want that change, they'll have to resubmit a different file with it. And go back up to View and Guides, and so we have those back again. Hit Control-0 to take us back, and then we're going to come and do the same thing over here with the other file. So we'll click on this and give us a little bit larger. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to extend it to half inch margins. So to do that, grab our guides and there you go. You can see they're half inches by looking up at the rulers and we'll extend this all the way and click, remember, click back on the text box, command E, and then we'll just come grab our second one. You can see this fits much better. So we don't have to shrink anything. Uh, this fits perfectly from the start, and we also can have our uh, nice footer there as well, so that doesn't interfere interfere with anything else we have. Uh, now, the other thing that is going to throw a wrench into this a little bit is the fact they d included some images. So, it's not a problem. That's what we do as typesetters. You have to be able to come here and... Uh, be able to fix things because believe me people are always going to be giving you more content and you're going to have to adjust accordingly. So uh, there's, uh, to create a new image box we're going to come right here and we'll put one image on page 35 and another on 36. So uh, we'll give it about that size and um, we'll adjust it just a little bit here and it's no matter what we do, we're going to have to create a new page, so that's fine. Uh, that we're getting a little spillover. So, same thing hit uh, there and for the image tool, Command E. And this one I actually put in Dropbox, so we're going to come over to Dropbox and image files. Let's see. And we're going to go with chart one, and you can see this one we're going to have to shrink down. That looks perfect. Okay, so that's the first image they sent over. 
And in, instead of creating this from scratch, especially because I'm going to click on it, hit Command B, and add a one with border. Um, instead of having to go and do that from scratch, I'm just get Command D. It'll duplicate that for us. And over here, we'll drag it over. It looks that looks a little too canned. Um, we'll put it right here, and we're going to keep the same size. And you can click delete, or you can just hit Command D and we'll go pick out chart 2 and you can see it's the same size so that fits in perfectly now we have the problem of we have to add a new page in between these uh, so that we can catch all this uh, spillover so to do that we'll click on our master master B and then put it in and you can see you just drag it and you can put it in between files and it works perfectly so uh, we're gonna click and drag get rid of the top header portion and extend our text box extend uh, our little separator line here and then coming back to the text tool click on our chain hit shift and extend it and now you have no spillover it all goes over to this page I don't really like the way this looks I'm gonna try to separate it a little bit so click here on the bottom of the text box and adjust it and as you can see it will start going over to the right hand side and now those two sides are a lot closer to equal we'll also grab our separator and drag it all the way up and one other thing I forgot to do and it may change things a little bit let's see uh, I the client wants everything justified so we have to justify it and which means we are probably going to have to come and fix our pictures a little bit so those now you can see that's all justified and the images are changed and now you have third page 35 36 this is going to be page 37 this is 39 Okay, so you have done it. Now I just hit Command S, and you, if you followed along uh, with one of your own projects, you've been able to add all of these new features uh, onto your Quark Express file, so congratulations. Uh, one other thing I am going to do is adjust this just to even it out a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Okay, excellent job. Let me know if you have any questions about how we did any of these different Quark Express uh, features, and I would uh, love to help you out with it. Thanks so much for your time.